Hello everyone, welcome back to Codanomics. In this video, we are going to see how to install OpenFoam version 2506 right from scratch. Like we are going to install Windows subsystem Linux, which is WSL, and then install OpenFoam followed by some uh, tips and tricks on how to use your WSL so that you don't mess up with the memory of your hard disk or SSD. So without uh, much talks, let's get started. First, open your favorite browser and then search for OpenFoam install v2412. Yes, we are going to install 2506, but this is how you have to search. And then you will get this website, openfoam.com. And then there will be this, uh, get the latest official OpenFoam release v2412. Just click on that. And then you should be able to see a web page like this. So just click on this Ubuntu Linux. So once you are inside this, you will get a page like this. So this is what we are going to use to install our OpenFoam. But before installing OpenFoam in Windows, we need something called Windows Subsystem Linux because OpenFoam is actually written for your Linux, but to use it inside Windows, we need the WSL. So to install that, just search for your command prompt or even PowerShell, anything is fine, but preferably command prompt. And then you have to do this WSL hyphen hyphen install. So just this is enough, but if you want to install a specific version of Ubuntu, then put hyphen D Ubuntu hyphen version 24.04. Then press enter. Then this will start the downloading. Make sure that your internet is stable. But if you don't want like the uh, specific version of Ubuntu and just want to take the latest, then you can just stick with WSL space hyphen hyphen install. Just this command would be sufficient so as to download your latest Ubuntu and then install it. This process might take a bit of time depending on your internet speed and your system configuration. Just uh, wait for it for some time. Okay, now the downloading is done and the installation is also happening. This will be pretty fast. Okay, once your installation is also done, we have to set our username and password. Okay, so I will just remove whatever it is suggesting and I will put my preferred username, press enter. Now we have to type the password once, but the thing is when we are typing the password, it will not display what we are typing or even it will not show any stars or anything. So be very careful when you type. So after you type your password, ensure that you type it correctly and then press enter and then type it again for confirmation, press enter and then your WSL installation is done. So now you can follow the uh, WSL or Linux commands to navigate around this terminal. So I'm just going to clear my page. Okay, now we are going to install our open form. So first uh, we have to copy this command and then paste it here, then press enter. Then it will ask for password. Just enter your password, press enter. Then it will start cloning the repository from that link. So once that is done, you can see the repository is set up. Then we have to do sudo apt get update. So this is just to update all the packages that are there in your uh, Linux. Okay, then just copy this, paste it here. So right click is for pasting and uh, change it to 2506 and then press enter. Now it will ask for confirmation. So press Y and then press enter. Now this will start uh, creating open form installation inside your WSL and it will take a bit of time again, depending on your uh, system configuration and your internet speed. So just give it some time, don't disturb it. And once it is over, I'll get back to you. Just as our software is getting installed, I just wanted to make a small announcement. On Udemy, we have two OpenFoam courses. One is OpenFoam for absolute beginners and one is OpenFoam intermediate level. So whatever level you are on, you can check this out. So if you want a coupon, you can text us on LinkedIn or email us and whatever current coupons are available, we will be happy to share with you. So if you are an absolute beginner, this course might be suitable for you and you can find the course description here. But if you already know these things and you want to upskill yourself with OpenFoam, then you can check this uh, intermediate level OpenFoam course, which has slightly intermediate level of contents and you can check this out. So you can find the links in the description. Okay, so let's get back to the video. 
okay now the installation is done and it did not give any errors so that's a good sign usually it will not give any errors if you followed the tutorials properly and everything uh, is going smooth so now the installation is done but we have to do one single step so you can see that it is saying source from bash rc file and it's telling a location so this alone we have to do so just type cd enter and then type explorer dot exe space dot don't miss the space dot it's important and then press enter it will open something like this now you have to right click on this dot bash rc file and then either open in vs code or open it in notepad plus uh, plus try to avoid regular notepad use it uh, use some sort of ide preferably vs code and then just click on open and you will get this file be very careful don't modify anything at all just scroll down and go to the last line and uh, after this fi the line 118 create one more line and then if you go to the terminal you'll be having this thing. so it will start from the dot just select everything Control c and then here you can Control v just save it so it starts with dot space slash usr lib open form open form 2506 etc bash rc everything just save the file so file and uh, save now you can close this file you can close the vs code as well you go here now press ctrl d to exit out of your wsl so once you exit your wsl you will be again back into your windows terminal now type wsl and re-enter so this sourcing will happen only if you close it and then come back otherwise it will not work again type cd enter now again type this explorer.exe space dot enter again it will open the same location so if you already have it open it's fine now what we are going to do is like we are going to create a repository for open form so mkdir iphone p dollar Home underscore run so this is the command so mkdir is make directory and then we are going to call something called foam run then press enter go here and then refresh you should be able to see this open foam folder then it will have your username hyphen v2506 and then it will have a folder called run okay now if you go here and then type run it will take you to that exact location so this is how we install open form now if i type block mesh hyphen help we should be able to see something like this and maybe simple form with f capital help you should be able to see something like this okay now how do i access my d drive or c drive which is there in my windows right so if you see i have c drive and d drive let's say i have something in my d drive some open form case that i downloaded from somewhere and if i want to use then what do i do so for that first type cd enter or let's start from like beginning we'll close this and i'll just open a command prompt i'm just opening it and then you type wsl it will load it in this location type cd enter then you can clear okay now to enter your d drive you have to put cd slash mnt slash small d slash now once you do this you will be inside your d drive okay now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create a folder called uh, let's say open foam iphone v 2506 enter now i'm going to enter that folder now it will be empty now what i'm going to do is like i'm going to create a folder called run and i'm also going to create a folder called tutorial or okay this is fine tutorial now if i enter this tutorial folder it will be empty if you type ls it should be empty it will be empty because we just created it now what we are going to do is like cp uh, okay just do this cd space dot dot so it will come back so you can see the location now it is not inside tutorial it is just outside now what we are going to do is cp hyphen r dollar home capital phone underscore tutorials space 
dot a space dot is important so press enter then wait for some time if it gives some error like this it's okay not an issue just wait for it so once the copy paste is over i'll get back to you okay now the copy paste is done so what this command did was if you type explorer.exe space dot to open uh, your explorer in that specific location you can see now we have three folders uh, run which is empty and then there is tutorial which is also empty and then there is tutorials so all your open form tutorials are now here so the reason why i created these run tutorial and tutorials is because whenever you are running a tutorial by itself without modifying or anything you can put inside this tutorial so that you will know what is the original run and avoid running inside your tutorials folder itself but if you are uh, making any changes or downloading any case and then running then you can put it inside your run so let me just explain something if i go inside my tutorials go inside incompressible icofoam cavity the first cavity i'm just going to copy this folder and uh, go inside tutorial and i'll paste it here now if i enter my tutorial folder and clear it you know i'm inside my tutorial now if i enter the cavity and then type ls i will be able to see all this now i will run block mesh okay now you note down that it is all happening in d drive and not inside your wsl so there is a particular reason why i'm doing like this i will explain at the end now we have done the block mesh it's just for testing so even if you don't know open foam till now it is fine you just type this command after if you are following it blindly it's okay just type this block mesh and you should be able to see something like this then type ico foam with f capital then wait for some time yes everything is uh, done so we are getting the time steps now just test this para foam it might or might not work it is completely okay if it did not work then type touch space para dot foam enter it will create a para view file now if you have already installed para view then you can open your para view and then drag and drop it inside your para view as paste and then you should be able to see something like this now this is a confirmation that your open form is working fine okay now the reason why i did it in d is because if you open your uh, windows explorer you will be able to see that you have c d and then you also have something called the ubuntu now this ubuntu is actually a disk partition inside your hard disk or ssd now the problem is whenever you do something here let's say you are going inside your open form and then doing the same thing like say instead of running it in this tutorial you run the same thing in this run it is going to run the same it will work that's how most tutorials on youtube are but the thing is once your memory is getting used it will not get deallocated in most cases and it's a huge problem with wsl what i mean is once you run all the cases and then it will take up some space in your c drive let's say it is taking till the end and it's becoming red now you don't have any space then you realize that the problem is within your uh, case files which you have run inside your wsl and then you try to delete it now technically it should free up the space after you delete but it will not in most cases it will not sometimes it will clear sometimes it will not but with my experience it does not clear at all in very rare cases it clears but there are mixed opinions about it but in general everybody has a problem with this one so when you run the case directly inside your d drive or c drive you won't have this sort of problem even if you don't have a d drive you can do it in c it is fine because it is still under windows so whenever you delete it will just get cleared but if you do it inside your wsl it will have problems later and then you might have to uninstall your wsl and then reinstall and then install all the packages such as open form and any other linux based packages that you have installed so this is a very um, convenient way and a very efficient way of using open form or any application inside your wsl when you are uh, using any sort of file system but this has a slight drawback the speed of your simulation will get slower if you want to get the maximum speed you might have to run it inside your 
WSL itself, but eventually that will lead to that problem. But even in your WSL, it's not going to be as fast as your dual boot or native Linux. So if you can trade off convenience with some time, it's not going to be a drastic difference in time. So if it is okay with some time, then you can use this uh, Windows disk partition methodology and it will be uh, very helpful later you will realize it so that's it for this video if you have any specific uh, tutorial recommendation for me then please drop it down in the comment section i will try to make a tutorial for that if you have any specific uh, questions then you can please drop it down in the comment section i will reply as soon as possible see you in the next video until then happy learning